Good day YouTube, Raptor Jesus here, or Web Studios as my YouTube name would suggest. Now this video is very different to my normal ones. It's a science video. So recently a lot of my friends have been wondering why has Chernobyl, you know the irradiated wasteland that has such a rich forest, thrived? I mean yeah, sure there might be no human interaction all those years might have allowed it to, you know, thrive for nature to return. But doesn't radiation damage and mutate cells in animals? Animals, yes. Trees, not so much. They absorb it, yes, but it doesn't kill them. Well, as quickly. Today, I think that I've worked out a theory on why the forest and all the animals within it have been thriving, even with all that radiation around them. I found out while I read on the internet that mushrooms, instead of cockroaches, are growing and thriving quite rapidly in you guessed it, the heart of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Not only are they surviving the radiation, but it's helping them grow bigger and bigger, much bigger than normal ones do. The reason for this is that fungi, mushrooms, are packed to the brim with melanin. You know, the stuff that helps you get a suntan when you go out in the sun. Melanin rich fungi are attracted to radiation. They grow better where there's higher traces of radiation in the area. Their peripheral nature of melanin acts like a shield to the radiation, but not only that, but allows the fungi to absorb the energy for the radiation, which helps them grow so they don't have the bad effects of radiation, they don't curl up and die, they don't turn into rabid man-eating mushrooms, they just get bigger and stronger. They're, they're kind of like Iron Man. You know how we made the arc reactor and harness in free energy? Well, anyway. So now back to Chernobyl. An increase in fungi, the mushrooms, which are pretty much everywhere thanks radiation is also an increase in available food to plants and animals which means that trees can go quicker because they can absorb the energy that the fungi absorbed and so can animals the reason that animals are thriving instead of dying of cancer every four seconds is probably due to the glorious food chain the fungi absorbs the radiation the fungi dies and trees absorb them or insects possibly some mammals but i doubt it then eat the mushrooms and get a nice dose of radiation, but also a larger dose of melanin which helps them counteract the effects of the radiation and also helps them absorb them just as the fungi. Now after the insects eat the fungi and get a stronger resistance to the radiation and grow because of that, because of the melanin they absorb from the mushrooms, other animals then eat them like birds or mammals, all that which then helps the animals that ate the insects thrive more because they get the melanin from the insects. And that is probably why wolves in particular have flourished within Chernobyl. So this melanin rich population of animals is growing much quicker than in other parts of the world. Wolf pups are growing quicker due to their parents having high counts of melanin and then the pups genetically gain part of that, a much higher amount of melanin naturally than wolves in other parts of the world. So yes, it is possible that in a couple years, hundreds probably, we could have large animals living there like big ass wolves, you know, um, oh, oh the... All the big wolves called dire wolves, yeah, they went instinct and then the grey wolf survived, yeah, you know, science stuff. Anyway, if I go back to, I think I missed something out, I'm doing this all off the top of my head most, they have a few little notes here, that I wrote down just to remember, help me remember some names. The food chain goes on, each newborn, each, the next generation of that animal will have a higher amount of melanin from the environment that, you know, from their parents and that because it just keeps cycling and cycling. Then the trees get high amounts of melanin and the trees start to absorb and so they grow more and the flowers and the grass, you know, even though they are doused with radiation, they thrive, they grow, they get stronger and then other animals do the same. All because of the food chain. The fungi are effectively saving the world. In the future, if an atomic bomb went off, you know, fungi might help clean it up. But we might, in the future, we might be able to harness fungi, the fungi that are rich with melanin and absorb the radiation. We could use them to clear out irradiated areas. We could probably even use them to create cures to cancer and that, you know, radiation therapy. But we pump the body with melanin so that they gain resistance to the radiation. So we can radiate the cancer, we can kill it off. But the patient sees no negative effects from radiation. In fact, they might even feel better because they're absorbing the energy from the radiation instead of, you know, getting more cancer later down the track. So yeah, this is kind of quickish video just to spread my thoughts on why the Chernobyl forest might be thriving. There's probably an actual reason for it. It's probably just, you know, 
human, no one to human interaction. That's probably why, and all the animals are probably gonna die for like four weeks. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. Anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Share your thoughts below.